This is Carrie from Top of the Hill Fitness. Anita is working out for us today. She is an art consultant and selected the art by Jen Mann. Today we have a vigorous hit workout followed with a plank challenge. We're going to move into the warm up. It'll be four minutes long, eight exercises for 30 seconds each. And Anita is going to start with the jog with an arm sweep. You can make arm circles here if you prefer. Just keep the whole body gently moving. And let's move into a, a leg swing forward and back using the wall if you need to for balance. We'll do this for 30 seconds on the right side and then move to the left side. And going ahead on the left side. We'll do, we'll keep those legs swinging and we'll do side to side next on the right side. Okay, certainly using a wall if you need to for balance. And that's what Anita's gonna do. Uh, leg up as high as you can go at the side and switch, crossing over on the front. And let's do the left side now. That's some impressive leg swimming, swinging from Anita. You might find your leg doesn't go that high to the side. That is okay. Do whatever you can here to feel warmed up. Let's move back to the jog in place with some arm circles and arm swing. And we'll do a hip opener on the right side next. Just bringing the leg up with a bent knee up in front and opening out to the side. And we'll move to the left side next. Just opening up that hip, getting things warmed up in the whole hip region. And this is the last bit of our warm up. Okay, moving on to our hit portion of the workout, we have seven exercises. They're going to be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. And we're going to do those seven exercises three times around. Start eating with shoulder push ups. Okay, so a nice V position with your body and lowering down 
to about a 90 degree angle on your elbows. So you'd feel this a bit more in your shoulders. Ten second recovery here. We're going to do high knees next. Okay, quick as you can here. It's just 30 seconds. And knees as high as you can. And maintaining a nice running arm. About halfway. We're going to do a push up with rotation next. Okay, down to full push up position. And rotating up to the side after you complete each push up. You can certainly do this from your knees if you want to modify. Puts you into a nice um, side plank position as you rotate to the side. And next up is alternating lunges. And start up, keeping up a nice continuous pace here. Lowering down as, as far as you can go comfortably on the bent knee. Just seven seconds to go. We're going to do a plank with an arm rotation next. So one arm out to the side and then just rotating it under your chest and back out again. Alternating sides, halfway there. Okay, standing up, getting ready for sumo squats next. Nice wide stance for sumo squat, feet pointed outwards, and lowering down as far as you can go. Maintaining a nice straight back, weight in the heels, 10 seconds to go. Okay, and stay on your feet. We're going to do skaters next. Okay, and a nice leap side to side. Keeping up a nice pace. Touching down if you can, like Anita is. You can modify this by making it more like a step side to side if you need to. And we've got a full minute rest here between sets. So we're going to do those seven exercises two more times. This is Shane. I just want to say a couple of things about the painting on the wall by Jen Mann. It's titled Narcissus. Many of you are probably familiar with the myth of Narcissus, the beautiful young hunter that fell in love with his own reflection and then was condemned to a life of misery because he couldn't have the object of his desire. This theme is well excavated in Western art and literature, and Jen is taking a very contemporary approach to it through much of her work, not just this painting. Jen's work deals with ideas of identity in the social media age and self-perception. 
talk more about it at the next break. In the meantime, get ready for set number two. Okay, Anita's getting ready for the next round of shoulder push-ups. And start the shoulder push-ups. Thinking about lowering uh, from your shoulders, uh, not so much impact on the chest with this kind of push-up. 10 seconds to go. And on your feet, high knees next. And off we go, high knees. Nice pace, nice running arms, and nice high knees. Halfway there. And the next one is the push up with rotation. From the knees or full push up, your choice here rotating into a nice side plank, either way you do it. And back on your feet, we'll move into the alternating lunges. This is some good work for the hamstrings and the glutes here. Over halfway done. And back down to the mat. We're doing the plank with an arm rotation next. Arm out to the side, rotating underneath you and planting it back down, alternating sides. Halfway done. And up again for the sumo squats. Lowering down, keeping it going. Nice wide stance. Get a bit of work on the inner thigh for sumo squats. And we'll move into skaters. Okay, and begin the skaters. Nice pace, side to side action. Over halfway. Nice break coming up here. You can take a full minute, get some water if you need it. Back to talking a bit about Jen Mann's artwork. 
The Narcissus painting acted as a movie poster for these fictionalized trailers that Jen filmed. Uh, so there's some multi-layered art making going on. And they all examine this obsession we have with this unattainable, idealized versions of ourself. Of course, this is nothing new to human experience. Um, here's a painting from the late 16th century by Caravaggio. What I love about this painting and thinking about it in context of Jen's work is that they're thinking about a similar experience as it relates to their time. And additionally, they're going about it with exactly the same materials, oil paint, a brush applied to canvas. Okay, enough chit chat, back for round three of three. And start up the shoulder push up. Ten seconds to go. And up on your feet for the high knees run in place. And go, go, go. Knees high. Nice running arms. Nice pace. 20 seconds to go. This is the last bit of high knees. And down on the mat, push up with rotation is next. Rotating nice to the side after each push up. Opening up wide and push up again. Ten to go. Alternating lunges are next. And start lunging. Twenty more seconds of lunges. You got this. And back down to the mat, plank with rotation. And start it up. Arm out to the side, rotating under your body, and back to the plank position. You're halfway there. And up on your feet for the last round of sumo squats. You're halfway there. 13 more seconds of sumo squats. Go. And here comes our last hit interval, skaters. Okay, last 30 seconds of vigorous work here. Side to side. Nice leap if you can manage it. Keep that pace up.
10 seconds to go. Get a few more in there. And we have a minute recovery before we go into our plank challenge to top it all off. So we've got uh, six different kinds of planks here. They'll each be 30 seconds. The total thing will be three minutes. So there's no break in the three minutes, but you'll be moving around enough that it'll, it'll feel like there's a bit of a break in there, changing position. Okay, go shake off that hit portion. Get a drink of water. And we'll start in about 10 seconds. The first one is just a regular plank. From your elbows, 30 seconds. Nice and strong, keeping those hips as low as you can, engaging your core. We're going to do a knee to elbow plank alternating next. Moving right into the knee to elbow. So same side, knee to elbow, alternating sides. Almost halfway there. Keep this going continuously. Our next one will be walking out, out, in, in on the out, off from the elbows. Okay, so little step forward from the elbows and a and little step back. Over halfway done that one. I'm gonna do a side plank next. Moving into side plank on the right side. Just holding this, engaging everything, engaging your core, keeping your hips up. Nice. We'll move to the left side, side plank next. And rotating over to the left side. We're almost done this. I hope it feels like it's flying by. Just one more type of plank left. We're going to do a leg lift alternating side to side. Okay, back to the elbow plank and just lifting each leg a few inches into the air and back down. You can keep it going at a faster pace than Anita's doing or hold like she is. Either way, you're almost done. That was our plank challenge. Great job, Anita. Great job, everybody. We've got a bit of a recovery here. Uh, cool down, and we're going to move into a stretch as well. So shake those planks off. Grab a drink of water. And just keep moving at a slow pace. Just 
And Anita was doing the boxer shuffle for that transition to stretching time. I'm just going to do thread the needle first. So threading right arm through the space on the left, bringing the shoulder as close as you can to the mat. Maybe you can even get your cheek down onto the mat. and switch sides. So left arm through the space between your right knee and your right arm. Trying to rotate that left shoulder down so it's on the mat and getting all nice and stretched out. You put your legs straight out in front of you. Do a nice seated hamstring stretch next. Leaning forward with a nice straight back, not curving down. And you should feel this in your hamstrings. And let's lie down for a figure four, a lying, lying figure four. Uh, we're stretching out the right side first. switching to the left side. You should feel this in the glute on the left side. And let's stretch out that lower back and a bit more in the hip. Uh, lying, lying on your back and pulling that right leg over the body. And let's switch sides. So bent left leg and pulling it over the body. Come on up, we'll do quad stretch to finish things off. So on the right side, first, you might feel this into your hip flexor as well as your quad. Taking a few moments to work on your balance here too. And let's stretch out the left quad. And that is a wrap. That's our workout for you. Thanks, Anita, for working out with us today. And remember to subscribe for great workouts and great art from Top of the Hill Fitness.